Okay, always put something down to keep your screen protected when you lay it flat. I use a blanket. It works real good on a chair and uh, it protects the computer screen. Okay. Right, uh, this is a Hewlett Packard TouchSmart 300 PC and we're going to remove the hard drive and we're going to clone it to a one terabyte hard drive and then we're going to reinstall it boot it up and make adjustments after that first step is to remove the screw if you're looking at the back of the set you will remove this panel right here it is on the left hand side like I said looking at the back okay if you take off the other panel you'll be going to replace the RAM so okay after removing the screw you take and remove this panel here it slides back sometimes a standard screwdriver just goes in a slot twist it panel slides right loose like this very easily comes off now this is your hard drive right here. It is in a caddy. And what you do, first of all, is you release this screw right in this bottom part. And it is spring-loaded. It will stay in the caddy. You don't have to worry. Just leave it loose. Then, you take the handle up. Pull the caddy out this way. And you will see down inside here, the holder for the wires that go to the hard drive. Anyway, the SATA, SATA connector wires is what I meant to say. Okay, I've removed the hard drive from an HP 300 all-in-one touchscreen PC and I'm going to use this piece of equipment right here to Clone the hard drive. The hard drive is just outgrown itself. It's 300 gigabytes and I'm going to clone it to a one terabyte hard drive. And basically this is what I'm going to use this docking station. It's able to accept, uh, well look at them, two and a half, three and a half and uh, there's some more on the side there there's the caddy I have the hard drive off and it is in the station now working let's go take a look okay here it is at work basically put the original hard drive in this spot the new hard drive goes here Push this button right here, hold it down for about five seconds, arrows start flashing, and voila, about two hours later this should be cloned. Okay, it looks like the drives have completed their job. Uh, the one is cloned, the lights have quit flashing. This is an indication that they are complete. I will uh, turn this off and uh, the cloning tool off and put the new drive in the computer and see if it works. I will let you know. The Connect LAN docking station made a perfect copy of the original hard drive in this computer. However, I went from 330 gigabyte to 1 terabyte and it left me with a whole bunch of unallocated space to the right of C drive with a D drive, which is a, a backup software drive, in the middle. So I had to use a program to move the D drive to the right of the unallocated space and then merge the C drive with the unallocated space and that is what is happening now and I'm waiting for it to it rebooted and merge everything and then I'll see what I have when that is done okay this is one hour's worth of progress Another hour's gone by. Still going. 
Okay, it booted right up. Uh, I think it was about two and a half hours. And I decided to check the drive. There it is. Lots of free space now. I guess I should have given you before and after pictures. But anyway, let me get rid of that. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and defrag this again. I don't know how long it's going to take. But it takes as long as it takes, I guess. Anyway, that's it. As far as I can tell, everything's working fine. Come right on. Uh, just super. Everything works super. Got to give it a plus for this. Bye for now.